You don't want to let the world know that we have scholarship. You don't want to let the world know that we gave you music. We gave you mathematics. We gave you medicine. We gave you morality. We gave you civilization. We gave you chemistry, biology, physics. You were crawling around on your own boards in the caves and hills of Europe. A caveman and a cave woman. Who that is? Who that is? You were crawling around on your all fours in the caves and hills of Europe, eating juniper roots and eating each other. As Dr. John Henry Clark, as Dr. Yusuf Ben Yakinen, as the great historians among us point out that before the white man ever had a house with a window or ever knew what a shoe was, we had great civilization, great empires. If you say Afrocentrism is a lie, then bring us your best minds. Bring us the best scholars you've got, and let's sit down and debate this. If you don't want to sit down in dialogue, let's go at it. Otherwise, step off, boy. Step off. a newspaper? You can't hide behind a television camera. You can't hide behind a camera. You can't hide behind a placard. You can't hide behind a banner. You can't hide behind a candlelight vigil. You got to come on out on Front Street. If we're lying, show us where we're lying. And we will accept what you say if you can show us where we're lying want to attack us for now going after our history, after you've robbed us of a knowledge of self, telling us about Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Pythagoras, and the boys. They are the fathers of Western philosophy. Oh, please. This is not about hatred. This is about history unraveling the mystery of the history that you have hidden from us behind a veil. You put it in a tomb and rolled a stone in front of the tomb. And for three days, representing 310 years of chattel slavery, you kept us in the dark in a tomb after your hung us on a cross, nailed our hands, hands that used to build pyramids, hands that used to shape and sculpt the sphinx, nailed our feet, crossed our feet, and nailed our feet, pierced us in the side, and put a crown of ignorance on our head. Planet Earth is 196,940,000 square miles. So teaches the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, I'm hurt. I've been suspended as minister, suspended from national assistant, suspended from national spokesman or representative. But I'm a brother. I like the way brother said, brother Colin. That's the only title I need is brother. Because the etymological root of brother is other. Your brother, your sister, your brother is your other self. Is an extension, the divine extension of you. I just want to serve in that way as your brother. So, though you hope for something else. When we dig at it and search and research and look beyond the pain and look at the game, that Almighty God is guiding this thing today. When we do that, then we're on the right road and nobody can stop us. Planet Earth is 196 million. 940,000 square miles, so teaches the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and my teacher and spiritual father, the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. 57,255,000 square miles of land, 
coming up out of 139,685,000 square miles of water on a planet that weighs six sextillion tons as it spins and moves and rotates on its own axis at the terrific speed of 1,037 and a third miles per hour every 23 hours, 56 minutes and 46 seconds as it makes its way around the sun every 365 and a quarter days. But your forefathers, black man, and black woman. Your foremothers, black man and black woman, ain't got nothing to do with hatred, ain't got nothing to do with bigotry, ain't got nothing to do with anti-Semitism. It's got to do with unraveling the mysteries of the history that has been hidden and they've kept us in a cave and kept a stone in front of the cave and kept guards there to make sure that every trace of light would not enter, no trace of light would enter into the slave's mind. But from the balances of our brain and with the span of our hand, our ancestors, our forefathers and foremothers could determine for that area geographically center and build the pyramids. And the white man calls it one of the wonders of the world, which means in spite of his great centers and schools of architecture, in spite of his great schools of engineering, he calls the pyramids one of the wonders of the world, which means that he's still wondering how we were able to do it. You are the father and mother. You are the father and mother of all of these disciplines and all of these sciences. And let me advance a term here tonight. Since we're throwing around terms, anti-Kemite and anti-Semitism and anti-Semite, I want to advance the term, uh, you have anti-Semite and anti-Semitism. I want to advance the term anti-Kemite and anti-Kemitism. It is called Egypt, but Egypt is the name given by the white Greeks. Isn't it interesting? Everywhere white people go, they always kick the door down. They always change the name of the nation. They always corrupt the morals of the people. And before you know it, they put whatever name on that land that they want to put on that land. That is arrogant. It's not just ethnocentric. It's extremely, inordinately egocentric. So they call that land Egypt. But that's the white name. Egypt, that's the Greek name. But the true name, when you study the divine sacred utterance, when you study what they call the hieroglyphics, but what our ancestors call the meduneta, the what? Amen. The what? Amen. When you study the meduneta, you will find that the true name for Egypt, not the white name, not the Greek name, but the true name for Egypt is Kemet. Kemet. And the people of Kemet are the Kemites. And the hieroglyph or the meduneta symbol for Kemet is a black charred burnt piece of coal or a black charred piece of wood representing the black and the burnt skinned people of Ethiop or Ethiopia or what is now in another area of that region called Egypt. So if the true name for Egypt is Kemet, the land of the black and the burnt skinned people, when you attack us this way, when you send death threats to our young sisters, when you threaten them just for bringing a speaker on campus, when you are p become plagiarists before the world, stealing from us, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Pythagoras, history points out, read Dr. George G.M. James that the Beacon Journal talked about in Stolen Legacy, read Dr. Malefi Asante, read Dr. Maulana Karanga, read Dr. Francis Cress Relsing, read Dr. Professor Renoko Rashidi, Professor Jane Small, read Dr. Leonard Jeffries, read Dr. Rosalind Jeffries, read Dr. Dr. Sekhmet, read Dr. Tamari Bridges, read the scholars of Dr. Sheikh Antadia, read Dr. Jake Carruthers, read Dr. Ivan Van Sertema, read the scholars of the black nation who are ready to do battle and do war anytime you're ready to do battle and war. Read them. And I say before all of you, I'm ready to do battle anytime. I'm a truth terrorist. I'm a black.
Black History Hitman. I'm a knowledge gangster. What I'm saying? Straight up, I'm a knowledge gangster, a truth terrorist, a history of black hitman. I gotta be a roughneck. Gotta be a roughneck. I don't know no other way. So when you come on with the come on, I make sure you get on. It's not about hate, but you are hateful in your hearts because you don't want the chosen of God to wake up. You don't want the stone to be rolled away. You don't want the mystery to be unrolled.